everybody. So my name's Emily. I work at my year and I'm really excited because today we're going to be talking about going back to school and all the feelings that go along with it. Um, so what you're going to need today is just something to write with or draw with. Um, so I'm using some markers and some crayons today and a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can just be a lined piece of paper, whatever you want to use. But we're going to be talking about what it might feel like to go back to school. So you might have already started school for the year. You might already be in your classroom or doing school online, or in the next couple of weeks, you might be going back. But it can be really helpful for us to think about what types of feelings we have when we're going back to school. It can help us prepare to go back. It can help us share with other people. It can help us really kind of take a thinking minute and kind of make some changes if we want to. But it can also just be really fun and to share with people. So. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to Dr. Dragon first from my dear. So Dr. Dragon told me this morning, so she's going back to school and she, she said, I wonder what everybody else is feeling about going back to school this year. I'm really, really curious. And so she wanted to share what she was feeling with all of you so that you could also share with her, with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, siblings, whoever we want to about what we're feeling going back to school. And so she made a heart map. And a heart map is something that we kind of use a key and we use colors to represent or to demonstrate what we're feeling. So Dr. Dragon, you can see she used red for angry. She used orange for worried. She used yellow for excited, green for happy, blue for sad, and purple for jealous. And what she did, she drew a big heart and I'll draw one with you after as you draw along. And she drew a big heart and she said, hmm, I wonder how much of my heart is feeling these feelings. And I'm going to color those sections as big as that feeling is for me. So you'll see her biggest feeling is excited. So when she told me, she said, Emily, I am so excited to go back to school. I am so excited to see my friends and meet my new teacher. And you'll see on there, she had a little purple square. That's the smallest feeling that she had. And she said, you know, Emily, I'm feeling a little bit jealous because I have a younger sibling who gets to stay home with my dad all day and doesn't have to do any schoolwork. So I'm a little bit jealous. You know, she had all the other feelings as well and she told me about them, but you can see that how big the feeling is for her is how big the color is in the square. And so what we're, or in the heart. So what we're gonna do today is you're going to do your own feelings in a heart drawing to demonstrate how you're going back to school. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna draw along with you. You can pause at any time. So I'm not with you, sadly, but if you want to stop and say, oh my goodness, you're going too fast or you're going too slow, feel free to move the video. You can do that. But what you're going to do is you're going to put out a piece of paper in front of you and you're going to draw a big heart. Be a skinny heart. Some of the kids that we've done this with have made a skinny heart as well. Quick question though. Does this have to be perfect? Take a thinking minute. Does this have to be perfect? No, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Art is never perfect. So I'm going to use a purple crayon or a brown crayon, purplish brown, and I'm going to draw my heart. So I'm going to take a thinking minute and I'm going to use the colors that I have to represent different feelings. So maybe red for me is happy. I'm writing upside down. So my handwriting might be a little bit messy. You can also have an adult help you if you want but I'm gonna make like a small key, almost like a map. And I'm gonna say, okay, how much of my heart is happy about going back to school? A big part. I'm very happy to see my friends. I'm very happy to learn some new things. So a big part of my heart might be happy. Yours might be very small. You might not be looking forward to going back to school and that's okay, right? So this is all about taking a minute to think about it. I'm gonna do this teal color. Whoops, got some on my hand. That's what happens when we make mistakes, right? And that's okay. We can do things to solve problems. So we're gonna do sad, that's blue. And I'm a little bit sad. You know, I really like the summertime. I like going to swim class. I like hanging out with friends at camp. So a little part of me might be sad. I'm gonna do worried as green and use whatever feelings you'd like. So I had, we had a friend tell me um, during the My Dear Live session, they said, you know, I feel bored at school. That might not have been a feeling that I would have thought of, but maybe it's a feeling that you want to put on there. Don't feel like you have to only use my feelings. So maybe I'm putting worried because I'm nervous about meeting new people. Maybe I'm worried about, you know, 
hard work or difficult work that I have to do and so on and so forth. So you're going to color your heart with your feelings. And then I want you to either, you know, you don't have to share it if you don't want to, but you can hold it up to the camera for us to see. We'll, we'll imagine that we can see it, or you can share it with your family, your friends, whatever you want to do, but make sure that you're thinking really hard about things that you're looking forward to. Maybe things that feel a little bit scary and maybe share them with people. People love hearing your thoughts and feelings and they're very, very important. So feel free to do this craft. Let us know what you think. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing you next time at A Mightier Live. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.